The retirement of a specialist in the state southeast has stretched resources and increased pressure on the local health system. In particular, the waiting list to see the only remaining resident obstetrician gynaecologist is growing. It may be the second biggest city in South Australia, but Mount Gambier is suffering from a lack of resident specialists. The pressure has intensified after one of the two resident obstetrician gynaecologists retired three weeks ago. Previously, pretty much anybody, regardless of the urgency of the complaint, could be seen within about three weeks. Right now, for non-urgent things, appointments with myself have blown out to October. His retired colleague, Dr George Olasnicki, was the only practitioner in the area who performed abortions. Such operations are carried out at the discretion of practitioners and there's no guarantee a replacement specialist will provide that service. We are 20 kilometres from the uh, South Australian Victorian border. I, I gather that some women went to, across to places like Warrnambool, for instance, uh, or some would travel into Adelaide. The ABC has been told no Australian trained specialists have applied for the position, which has been offered to a doctor from the United States. In the meantime, Dr Weatherall will be supported by a full-time locum for six months. Dr Weatherall says there's about 100 specialist obstetrician gynaecologists in South Australia, but that he's just one of three that lives in a regional area. The Australian Medical Association says the recruitment and retention of specialists in general is a statewide issue. It's tough generally across the whole state uh, to get specialists uh, to be resident and it's a, it's a delicate mix of resident specialists and visiting specialists. The Rural Doctors Association is calling for a succession plan for when specialists retire and better pay to help address the issue. Caroline Winter, ABC News, Adelaide.